The AI rumor mill is on one right now, suggesting that ChatGPT is about to launch a search competitor next week. Welcome back to the AI Breakdown Brief, all the AI headline news you need in around five minutes. We have a spicy little nugget to start us off today. The AI rumor mill believes that next week, ChatGPT is going to release a search engine. Pete Huang from The Neuron writes, Breaking, OpenAI will soon release a search engine for ChatGPT. Expected launch date is May 9th, right before Google's big conference. After teasing this project over the last months, OpenAI has created search.chatgpt.com. This is expected to be something like perplexity, you, or find. More coming. So what is Pete referring to in terms of this idea that they have been teasing it? Well, on his interview with Lex Friedman last month, OpenAI CEO Sam Altman talked about the idea of search explicitly. Altman said, if we can build a better search engine than Google, then we should. Google shows you 13 ads and 10 blue links, which is one way to find information. But the thing that is exciting to me is that maybe there is a much better way to help people find and act on information. Altman went on, the intersection of LLMs plus search, I don't think anyone has cracked the code on yet. I would love to go and do that. I think it would be cool. Andrew Gao points out that the search.chatgpt.com subdomain goes to a valid page, but other subdomains do not. While Google may be the target that Altman has in mind, another company that people think is in the crosshairs is Perplexity. In some ways, Perplexity is a wrapper on top of other LLMs. However, their specialization in search has created a user interface that has driven many people, myself included, to shift a huge amount of their particularly researching away from Google and towards them. However, as Altman has talked before about the idea that OpenAI is likely to steamroll some startups not even meaning to, the question is whether Perplexity is going to be one of those casualties. Ben Tossel from Ben's Bytes writes, Perplexity won't last. I use it every day. But ChatGPT search next week may mean I don't need to. There's going to be a lot more to say about this to the extent that ChatGPT search does come out, but we'll save it for then rather than getting too deep into speculation now. Now, the event that it seems like OpenAI may be trying to front run if they do release this next week is, of course, Google's I.O. conference. I.O. is Google's annual developer conference, and it's happening May 14th and 15th. Google hasn't given too many hints about exactly what to expect from that. There is a keynote called What's New in Google AI, and Generative AI is, as ZDNet puts it, sprinkled throughout other keynote descriptions as well. However, as they also point out, Google I.O. is known for surprises. Might they surprise announce Gemini 2.0? We don't have long to wait to find out. Speaking of big tech companies who we are eagerly awaiting to find out what they're going to do next with AI, Apple had its quarterly earnings call, which, by the way, it had an earnings beat, coming in above analyst estimates. But no one was really focused on that, and everyone was focused on what their AI strategy is going to be. Tim Cook remains vague when it comes to what exactly Apple is going to do with AI, but he is certainly willing to hype it up a lot more than he has in the past. He said that Apple was well-positioned and that there were big opportunities across Apple for generative AI, and he said that there would be big AI announcements in the, quote, coming weeks. Wedbush analyst Dan Ives described it as a drumroll moment. And what it is leading up to, at least what we believe, is some big announcements at the Worldwide Developer Conference, which happens in June. It also seems like it might be pretty important iPhone sales were down 10% over the past three months, and so AI on the iPhone might have more pressure than just Apple catching up with the Googles and OpenAIs of the world. It might actually be mission critical to get people to keep buying their new phones. Marquez Brownlee joked on Twitter, on one hand, it seems like it's only a matter of time before Apple starts making major AI-related moves around the iPhone and iOS and buries these AI-in-a-box gadgets extremely quickly. On the other hand, have you used Siri lately? Finally, another big tech company made a bunch of announcements around AI as well. Microsoft released its first annual Responsible AI Transparency Report. From The Verge, quote, Microsoft says in the report that it created 30 responsible AI tools in the past year, grew its responsible AI teams, and required teams making generative AI applications to measure and map risks throughout the development cycle. They say they've given Azure AI customers access to tools to detect problematic content, and that they've also expanded red teaming efforts. Ultimately, this is a self-grading exercise, so make of it what you will. Another interesting story from Microsoft today, though, was that they have banned U.S. police departments from using their Azure AI tools for facial recognition. TechCrunch writes, Language added Wednesday to the Terms of Service for Azure OpenAI Service more clearly prohibits integrations with Azure OpenAI Service from being used by or for police departments for facial recognition in the U.S. This is an extremely controversial application of AI, something that is also banned in the EU AI Act. Finally, Microsoft announced a massive renewable deal, presumably to help power its AI initiatives. Microsoft signed a deal yesterday with Brookfield Asset Management to support the development of 10.5 gigawatts of renewable energy capacity around the world. 10.5 gigawatts is basically half of the solar and wind capacity that California has currently. 
Brookfield Asset Management said the deal is almost eight times bigger than the previous single largest corporate power purchase. One of the big arguments from people who think that AI might not be so bad for the environment is that the sheer quantity of energy that it's going to require is going to force innovation and consumption of alternative energy sources as well. So chalk this as evidence in favor of that argument. However, that is going to do it for today's AI Breakdown Brief. Next up, the main AI Breakdown.